Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Biocatalyst 2021. In the previous video, we started with taxonomic hierarchy where we studied about species in detail. The taxonomic hierarchy starts with kingdom which has the most diverse organisms or the organisms which have the most diverse characteristics, whereas the species is a taxon where most closely related organisms are there, that is they have least diversity. So let's take up some examples of species and then move to next taxon. So the species, uh, let's take some examples that is Panthera tigris. Panthera is the name of the genus and tigris is the name of species. Panthera leo. Panthera, again the genus, leo is the species. Homo sapiens is for human being. Homo is genus. Sapiens is species and uh, Mangifera indica. So whenever we have to write a name of any organism, we write it um, starting from a genus name, which is in capital. And uh, the second name is the specific epithet, which is in small letter. It starts in small letter. And we underline all of these when we are writing, when they are handwritten, they are always underlined separately genus separate species separate let's move on to the next taxon that is genus genus is a taxon which has a group of closely related species that is there are some similarities in these or organisms so let's take some examples panthera tigris panthera leo panthera pardus and Panthera onca. So you can see how I have written just one letter for the genus and then a dot and then I have written the name of the species. So when we are, uh, uh, we are writing about the same genus, we can write just one letter, the capital letter of uh, the first name of the genus and then we can put a dot and write the name of the species. So you can see all these four organisms, Panthera tigris, which is tiger, Panthera leo, which is lion, Panthera pardus, which is leopard, and Panthera onca is jaguar. These four different animals, four different species, are placed in the same genus. And why are they placed together? Because they have some kind of common characteristics. And the common characteristic, uh, which is most uh, obvious in Panthera genus, is uh, that they have same cranial features. That is their cranium, the head region, has some kind of similarity, similarities. That is why these organisms or these animals are placed in Panthera genus. Let's take one example of plants. Solanum tuberosum. Solanum melongena. So this is a, these are two plant species. Solanum tuberosum is potato, whereas Solanum melongena is eggplant, that, that is brinjal. So they also have some kind of similarities that is in the floral structure, the morphological structure. That is why these two plant species are also placed in the same genus. Let's move on to the next taxon, family. Now what is family? Family is a group of related genus or we can say related genera rather we write genera because genus is singular and genera is plural of genus so when there are organisms which belong to different genus but they are closely related then they are in one single family for example family solanaceae solanaceae has actually 90 genera i have just mentioned three over here because it is not possible. There are around 3,000 species included in family Solanaceae. But uh, if we talk about these three genera, that is Solanum, Petunia and Datura, these three are included in family Solanaceae. And there is something common, that is they are all pentamerous, that is they have five petals, five sepals in their flowers. So they have some kind of common vegetative 
and reproductive features which are common in these genera. So they are included in one common family that is family Solanaceae. Let's take one example of uh, animals that is family Phyllidae. Now family Phyllidae has actually all kind of cats included. So they have um, around 36 species and there are actually three genera included. One is Panthera, other is Felis and the third one is Echinonyx that is uh, the cheetah family or the cheetah genera actually rather we'll say. So these are included or these three genera are included in Felidae whereas I have just written two just to make it uh, more clear that there are cat family included in it. So we can say that um, Panthera, Felis and even Cheetah. Cheetah is placed in a different genera. So these cats are included in family Felidae and what is common in them that they are all totally carnivorous or animals. They're usually solitary, that is they live alone. Um, they're secretive, they're nocturnal, that is they feed at night and they have very sharp vision, uh, strong sense of smell and hearing. So there are many common characteristics and that is why all these animals, they are placed in the common family, that is family Felidae. Let's go to, to the next or, uh, taxon. The next taxon is order. Now, what is order? Order is a taxon which includes a group of closely related families. So, if we take an example in plant kingdom, order polymonials includes two families, that is family convolvulosi and family solanaceae. So, uh, the convolvulosi is also a morning glory family and uh, these two families are included in polymonials because they have some similarities in the floral structure, that is the reproductive structure. So there are only two families in polymonials and that is why these two um, families are included in the same order because there is some common characteristic or some similarity in their flowers. Let's take an example of animal kingdom, order carnivora. Now it has actually 12 families. But it's not possible um, to write all 12 families. So I have just written two families. That is family Felidae, which we already studied that Felidae are the cats. And family Canidae, which are actually the dogs. They are included in order Carnivora. So they also have some features which are common. And that is why these two families are included in order carnivora though there are 12 families but we are not including all of these in the explanation. Let's go to the next taxon which is class. Class is a taxon which has a group of related orders now. So now if we talk of class mammalia in animal kingdom it has actually 19 orders. We are just writing just two where we are writing that um, order primata and order carnivora they are included in class Mammalia. Order Primata, so there are actually monkeys um, in order Primata, Gorilla and uh, Gibbon. These are included in Primata. Carnivora, you can understand they are all meat eaters like tiger, cat, dogs. They are all included in class Mammalia. Let's move on to the next taxon that is phylum. Now phylum has a group of uh, organisms which, which are actually related, which belong to related classes. So for example, phylum chordata. It has five classes. Pisces, which is, uh, these are fishes, amphibians, reptilia, aves or aves, uh, you can pronounce it anyway, and mammalia. They are all included in a common phylum, phylum chordata. And what is common in all these five classes, these are all classes, that is five classes which are included in phylum chordata, that they have a notochord that is a part of backbone and a dorsal 
they all have a dorsal hollow neural system so they have all of them all these five classes which belong to phylum chordata have notochord and they also have dorsal hollow neural system so i hope you have understood this much let's go to the next that is kingdom kingdom we already studied that it has the uh, it's the most diverse um, taxon that is a taxon which has most diverse organisms so if we are talking of plant kingdom then all the plants are included and if we are talking of animal kingdom then all the animals are included in animal kingdom so it means as we go up from species to kingdom then the more uh, the common characteristics goes on decreasing that is from species to kingdom the common characteristics will keep on decreasing if we are lower in the taxa more are the characteristics that the members within the taxon share so if we are going from kingdom towards species that is going down then there will be more common characteristics if we go higher in the taxa or not in the taxa higher towards the taxa that is from species to um, kingdom greater is the difficulty in determining their relationship let's go to the next one that is last is our example that is of a man man is the common name and you can see the classification it belongs to kingdom animalia phylum chordata class mammalia order primata family hominidae genus homo and species is homo sapiens so from the classification you can understand that man is included in animal kingdom along with all the animals whether we are talking of fish or reptiles so but it is not similar to them though it belongs to anim uh, the animal kingdom and if we go down that is if we look at the name of the species and the genus homo sapiens it is very specific that we are talking about human being that is man so i hope you have understood uh, very well about the taxonomic hierarchy so if you like my video please do subscribe my channel thank you